What's up guys and welcome back to Whiskey Throttle. If you're new here, my name is Brandon and today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a project here in my shop. So if you came over from Adventure Archaeology, which is my other channel, welcome to this channel. And I think I formally announced sometime this week that we're going to be doing the rest of my shop build right here on this channel here at Whiskey Throttle. Uh, Adventure Archaeology is a treasure based channel. We specialize in finding stuff from the past and this is a workshop that I use to work on motorcycles to house my eBay business as well as my bottle business. And I know that sounds crazy, but we sell a lot of antique bottles and I don't have room to house them all. We also have our very own product called Digger's Dust, which I'm in the middle of getting everything in the canisters and packaged up like it should be. You can see we've got a gram scale down there. That's because we sell it by the pound. I've got to do some finished trim work over here in this corner. I've got to do some trim work here and this was not actual siding this was rough cut wood that we decided to overlap each other because it had a little bit of a wave in it so i'm going to be putting a sideboard on both sides to cover it up meanwhile to do that i'm going to take a couple of these pieces right here i'm going to rip them straight down the center with my table saw and get things ready to go i need to get this wood out of the middle of the floor before i get my next load in here this weekend so let's go ahead and get started to get started, what we're gonna do is, I've gotta move everything out of the way. That's the bad part about trying to build a shop around a lot of crap. <laughs> I got too much stuff in here, guys, already. So, let's go ahead and get going. So first things first, we're gonna measure the width right here. It's gonna be about 49 and a half. So it doesn't have to be perfect there again because this is just a shop, but I want it to look pretty decent. So I'm gonna cut the length first before I rip the board width outside. So let's get to it. cut it down the middle. Like I said, these are rough sawn wood. Looks like they're about five and seven eighths. So we're just gonna divide that in half and go ahead and run it through there. So I've been using this rigid nail gun right here. It's just using 18 gauge brad nails. Typically I like to use the two inch, but I just ran out. So I'm gonna be using an inch and a half. There again, this stuff right here is right around one inch thick. So the nails are still gonna be able to sink in about a half inch. For the trim, that'll be fine. Everything else in here was done with two inch though. So it's a lot better. But for these trim pieces, for no more than what they're doing, this will be just fine. this part or measuring we're just going to stick them up there by eye being rough song lumber one side is kind of ugly we're going to put that back keep the prettier side out
I think that looks a little bit better myself. Now, if this would have been on the exterior of a home, you would have had done something different, but just for these rough walls inside of here, it looks a lot better than an unfinished crack like this one over here. I gotta get over here and do this one yet. You can kind of see right back there. That's what it looks like beforehand. And we'll finish nailing it, move to the next one. sitting there so I'm actually replacing that pallet table that I have with this old pine table to the side this pine table is made from like a couple hundred year old pine trees and it's super cool it's been shellac really hard and I noticed a little bit of moisture comes through the garage door over here at the bottom so that pallet table would rot much faster than this pine table <laughs> So what's to come on this channel and with this building build? Well, a pretty good bit. I've got a lot of work to do over the next few months. Uh, I had been including this at the tail end of the Adventure Archaeology videos, not showing any work, just showing the progress. I decided that it would be cool to show everybody how much work's going into this. The first thing that we're probably going to do is we're going to come in here and I've got to get a couple of these electric bicycles out of the way. I'm approached because my other channel, we got 600,000 followers on Facebook and around uh, 70,000 on YouTube with our other channels. So we get lots of review stuff sent to us. Uh, we've got electric bicycles coming out of our eyeballs. These two over here are not working currently. I gotta do something with those. That'll probably come on the channel, me trying to retrofit a different motor inside of those. These two do absolutely love them. We have another electric bike on the way that somebody sent in us to do a review. Uh, plus I have another electric bike over there that is full suspension. We're gonna be finishing the inside of this office. We're gonna be setting up a bamboo 3D printer. We are also gonna be setting up a laser for laser engraving, which is pretty cool. We gotta do something with the ceiling in here. As you can see, none of these walls over here have been completed. And that's because I've been trying to toss around what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna also be restoring this stove that you see down here. We gotta install it. I'm gonna put it against the wall over here. I think what I'm gonna do is put two more full pieces of tin there. I've still gotta hang the siding over there, put siding all the way around. They'll probably be pegboard. That doesn't even touch what we got to do to the ceiling. We got to do spray foam for insulation so I can get an air conditioner in there. Uh, we've worked a little bit on the outside. Still got a long ways to go. We installed a French drain that runs all the way around the side of this building because sadly I live on a hill and the water likes to run this direction. Right here I put a culvert. So I'm going to be pouring some cement right here. We're going to be leveling in this drain that you see. And then I'm going to be spreading all of this gravel with my tractor. This side over here, there's a whole lot to do over here too, guys. I've got to build a retaining wall all the way across here. It's gonna come around. This tree right here is gonna go down. Uh, that tree right there is gonna go down. It's dead. So it's gotta go before it lands on the shop. This shed's gonna get moved out of the way. Then a giant lean-to is gonna be built on the side. So we've got a lot of work to do, which means a lot of video content. And hopefully you guys don't get bored with it. We've also got lots of stuff to do with wheels and whiskey coming. So I'm done with that, today's video and I'm going to tell y'all why I'm quitting. <laughs> I was moving this box right here. I bought one of these Daytona three ton jacks uh, from Harbor Freight and I grabbed the box. I stuck my hand through the handle right there and whenever I did something stung me like a wasp. I was like, what is that? And as I dropped the box in pain, oh crap, where'd he go? Look at that two scorpions came out. And I'm assuming that that's what stung me right there. Needless to say, that finger has swelled up and this one over here is starting to for some reason. Uh, it doesn't feel very good, I know that. I'm hoping that these guys are the regular ground scorpions from here in Alabama. I've been stung by one of those before. However, coming from Harbor Freight, I hope it's not a Chinese scorpion. Good Lord, that's why I'm keeping them in this cup, just in case 
I go into cardiac arrest, they'll know what to do. <laughs>